Hi guys, welcome to your first lesson for foreign exchange rates. We're going to learn how to convert from pounds to a foreign currency and then the opposite way, so from a foreign currency back to pounds. Today we are going to be using the exchange rates that we can see here. So I've got euros, American dollars, uh, the South African rand, which is usually given by the letter R. Now our exchange rates change all the time, so just because I'm using 1.11 for euros today doesn't mean it's always going to be 1.11. Um, the currencies change depending on a lot of different factors, but usually you'll hear when certain countries bring out different policies um, in their politics, you see their exchange rates increase or decrease depending on whether it's been a good decision or a bad decision. So our first question then is how many euros can we get with £100? Well, if we are starting with £100, we are thinking then that our £1 is equal to €1.11. Euro we are going to take our £100 and we are going to take that across to our foreign currency. So we need a cross in our sum and we are multiplying by the exchange rate there. So when we multiply, that means that we are going to get 110 euros for a uh, hundred pounds. How many euros can we get with 475 pounds then? Well, it's one pound is a uh, one euro 11 cents. So 475 pounds going across. Well, we take that 475, we multiply by the exchange rate and so my answer here is 527 and 25 cents. So we always check, is it to two decimal places? Yes, it is. So we don't need to do any rounding. That's the amount that uh, 475 pounds is worth in euros. For this example, a laptop costs 575 pounds in a sale in the UK, but we want to know how much would it cost to buy in Florida. So basically, this is just a fancy way of saying user exchange rate to change our 575 pounds into dollars. So you need to know here that Florida is part of the United States and that they use dollars. Usually the question will give you a wee hint towards uh, the right one that we need to use. So I'm going to start then by writing down my exchange rate so that I'm showing my examiner or my marker that I know which exchange rate I'm using. It is £575 and we are going across to dollars. So I take that 575 and I multiply it by 1.36 and that gives us $782. So the same laptop worth the same amount is $782 in America. So here's your first break in the lesson. I've got 10 questions here. This time you are going to use your exchange rate here. Um, there's four different exchange rates there. Uh, you need to decide which one you're going to use each time. So remember when you're going across, you need a cross. So that's multiply uh, and you're multiplying by your new exchange rate. Okay, so section two then, how many pounds can we get with 100 euros? So this time my exchange rate is one pound is equal to 1.10, sorry, 1.11 euros. So if it's 100 euros this time, I'm writing them on this side. And if we are coming back, I'm going to write the amount that we're looking at, so the 100 and we're doing the opposite. We're coming back this time, so I'm going to divide, and it is always by the exchange rate we are dividing. Okay, so the exchange rate is the not pounds. So whatever the foreign currency is, you're going to divide by that. One hundred divided by one point one one is then going to give us ninety point zero nine zero zero nine. But we've already said in pounds and foreign currency we have two decimal places. So it's 90 pounds and nine pence as our answer. For the second one then, how many pounds can we get with $729? Well, one pound is $136. So my $729 is on this side. We are going back 
So I take the 729, I divide by my exchange rate, which was the 1.36. So 729 divided by 1.36 gives us 536.0294. But we know that it's only two decimal places that we want. So it is 536 pounds. Three pence. A bunch of bananas in South Africa cost 8.79 rand. We want to know how much they would cost in pounds. So this time I've got one pound is equal to my 20.62 rand. So my 8.79 rand is on this side. We are coming back. So eight. 0.79 divided by 20.62 is going to give us 0 0.426. So my two decimal places then is 0 0.43 pounds, or another way to think about it is 43 pence. This time for section two then, we've got another 10 questions. We are coming back the way this time. When we are dividing, it is really important that we are dividing by the exchange rate. So there's a difference between your 116 divided by 1.16 or your 1.16 divided by 116. So this is the correct one. It's always the amount divided by the foreign exchange rate. Okay, so give these 10 your best shot and then we have one more section. So section number three, you need to decide are you going across to the new currency? So we need a times or if you're coming back to pounds, we need to divide. There's only six in this set here because these are a wee bit harder. There's Make sure you're reading the questions fully and answering them fully. Um, Again, you may use a calculator, so calculators are allowed. Try your best, let me know if there's any problems in our Teams chat and I will see you in the next video.